Hey guys, welcome back. This is Kendra, the Divine Purpose Mentor, and this is your energy update and activation. It has been seeded and activated within the star seeded collective consciousness as of August 5th, 2019. As we come into our full remembrance of our sovereignty, we will no longer have to try to perceive from a separated consciousness. When you question something, you consciously connect to that frequency and you receive the information from a knowing and that allows you to understand what you have been perceiving. This is the second phase and this calls us to reunite with our monad groups to activate the living light codes within us and to live in mastery of the light or to make a conscious choice that we have decided to dance in the darkness of the human illusions that have been programmed upon your planet. The programming of power over others, fear mongering control tactics that have enslaved the sovereignty of free will for centuries upon centuries. As of July 22, 2019, your planet has graduated from this matrix system of the individuals that are being called to make their conscious choice to continue to live in the control matrix or to ascend into the living light of mastery as a beacon of light upon your planet. If you choose that it is more fun or you are not ready to be free or whatever the reason may be, this is perfectly okay. But it's important to know that you have a choice and to make that choice either way consciously now. Our planet at this very moment is ascending or deconstructing and I feel that you as a star seed a fellow leader of light will understand this urgency and know that you are ready Over the course of the last few years, the collective has been going through a purging process. And I know that all of you have felt this, especially this year. In October, it signals that the larger part of the deconstruction phase is making space for the rebuilding and regeneration. Fellow leaders of light, you have been assigned guardians that have chosen to walk with you in this life in physical form and in spiritual form. They are the guardians of all who walk with us. If you see all who walk with us, you would never feel alone again. Although guardians are here for our protection of the living light. Protection is not about fighting against. It is only holding a space, a safe container around the living light. The cult programming upon your planet runs deep and it has been programmed in order to take the light from another light to have the light themselves. This cult programming will be undone by those who have come to bring the sacred light remembrance. The frequency will awaken them. As they awaken, they will fall into fear. And those who have come to be the remembrance of the living light they will be met with compassion and willingness to be the net 
as they fall, the hands that are reaching out and the guidance for how to get back up. The guidance of undoing, the guidance of remembering the sovereignty of their truth. This is what we are here for. If you are in vibrational resonance with this, then please join me so that the second phase can be fully activated upon your planet and the rest will gather with their specific monad groups and we can activate the grid before the po portal of the Lion's Gate closes on August 12th. We have the frequency of the living light and we share this with our monad groups that activate the crystalline DNA structure and the remembrance of the light within us. The message for today is it has begun. Now it is time for you to make a choice. Your choice is to now accept or reject your mission to live as the living light and to share your activation codes within your monad group and all who walk with you, your tribes, activating the grid by inviting your groups to join together with you in physical form. If you don't know who your groups are, just ground into what your mission is. What do you feel called to do, to give? What gifts did you come here to give? Take all that you have learned throughout the course of your life and remember the mastery that you have from previous and parallel lifetimes and sound that call for a gathering, a meetup, and allow your call to bring them to you. You will have this feeling of coming home when you meet your group. But you first need to put down your walls of fear and meet them in your heart space. When you join together, hold hands in a circle or a triangle and call upon the light codes to be activated within your DNA, your body, and ground it into the earth, grounding that source light into the earth, then bringing it back up through your feet to meet Mother Gaia and source light out of your heart space and then bring it back in through the back of your skull back into your heart space and allow that beautiful unity to continue to flow throughout every single cell in your body and to amplify the vibration on this planet This is how we activate the grid with the living light codes. And as we activate the grid, it signals beams of light through our sun. And with the Lionsgate portal opening, we connect it to Sirius B and into the great central sun. And that loops a unity, an infinite light back through the sun into our earth and it seeds our planet's entry back into the galactic family of the cosmic consciousness. Your mission, if you choose to accept it in your physical form with your free, free will, because although your soul has chosen a mission upon this planet. Your physical embodiment has experienced programming and pain body of duality consciousness, and you will always have the power of free will. 
If you do not wish to embody the living light and hold on to your pain and the fear, please understand that we hold no judgment, no shame, no separation. For we have full compassion and understanding and only ask that you choose to become fully embodied in the living light. If you are completely sure that this is your choice from your own truth, there will be no repercussions for your choice. We know that you have every right to feel the fear that may come up. We understand what you have been through. Your pain and your fear is completely valid and we hold you in love and we will never ask you to give up your power of choice and sovereignty. Anyone or anything that does ask you to sacrifice your free will and your sovereignty is not of the highest and best and the greatest of good for all. So please recognize the difference between the power over others and the presence of the living light. When you have awareness of the difference, you are able to make a conscious choice and you will not be able to be manipulated or controlled by anything. You're free, sovereign beings and it is your God-given right to have to live and to speak your own truth without ever needing to fight for it. Over the course of your life, your truth may change, grow, transmute into completely new models and this is absolutely okay and it can be expected. With the more awareness that comes the reflection of the past. We invite you to remember that it taught you without holding on to the shame or the guilt. Bring only the knowledge of your own truth forward and offer what does not serve your purpose into the earth, out the soles of your feet, to be beautifully transformed into beautiful new positive energy. Know that I love you. I see you. I see all who walk with us, who are masters. And I have witnessed your desire and your will to become a living master of the light. As a desire to remember the gifts that you came here to give, But after the activation that I experienced yesterday, I am no longer allowed to pretend I don't know what I came here for, who I am. I have called myself a healer in the past, and it has been shown to me that this is not authentic for me to say because I am a teacher of how to heal yourself, but I am not the healer of you, for you are not powerless. You never were, you simply forgot. And I, along with other healing facilitators, will teach you and guide you how to remember to heal yourself. If anyone desires for you to rely on them for your healing, know that that is not of the highest and best for you. It is okay for someone to take you through a healing process for you to feel that frequency vibration and memorize it. But do not give your power away to anyone. And whether that be in the name of healing or anything else, 
know that you have a choice, that you have free will, that you do matter, that you do have a very unique and special gift, a puzzle piece that needs to be shared with this planet. But you never have to feel like it is is your job to rescue or save another. Remember that they too are not powerless. So empower them to remember the truth and the light within them. I have the gift of prophecy. And with this activation, it has been seated that I no longer have the ability to speak in illusions. I know that we have chosen to do this part of the race together and I invite you to join me as we activate the remembrance and unite as one unified field to universalize wakefulness on this planet. The next phase you will see the process of undoing what has been done that does not serve the greatest good of all. As the exposure of what has been hidden is flushed to the surface, you may have the tendency to want to worry, to fear that you are not safe. But I invite you to remember that you were only unsafe when you were unconscious of what has been taking place upon your planet. When it is flushed to the surface, It can be seen by the light of consciousness and therefore it will be transmuted into light. But you have to see it to free it. You have to see the hell that we have been in in order to make a change, to create a new model. Remember the wisdom of what has been done in the past and understand that nothing is against you but your choice to push others away and allow for them to want to take in order to survive. Because as long as you continue to push people away, you will always trigger their survival and their starvation and their lack. So if you are in fear, know that it is a call to love. And remember the wisdom, the compassion, and the understanding of where someone is and love them anyways. Allow for the resistance between to dissipate. We ask that you do what you can from where you are with what you have, but be mindful to use your discernment always. Feel every action. If you're moving from a space of love or if you're pushing against with fear, when you push against what you fear, you allow for that darkness to grow. So know that all you need to do is love yourself and love everyone as yourself but do not sacrifice your own truth for validation and connection because that opens you up to attack from energies that will feed and sacrifice you. Be mindful of all your thoughts, feelings, and emotions and get to a calm, neutral state before taking aligned action in any direction with every action that you take. We trust that you know the difference. We will trust you with your own discernment. We appreciate your service upon this planet and the guardians of the light walk with you. So call upon them when you need assistance and be willing to receive the messages and the guidance that they offer. 
Know that you are fully supported, completely loved, and always safe when you live in the light of consciousness. The process of undoing has begun. Fellow leaders of light, the time is now. I love you all. This is Kendra, the Divine Purpose Mentor. I am here to universalize wakefulness on the planet.